Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome back to my channel, brothers and sisters. So we all understand how important it is for us Muslims to follow the right sunnahs and deen practices, especially when it comes to the holy days like Friday. So in this video, I have included seven steps that you should carry out on Friday before going to the Jummah prayer to earn many blessings and reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the most merciful. So let's begin with the seven steps. The first thing that you should do, brothers and sisters, is take a bath. Taking a ghusl and purifying our bodies is a necessary part of the Jummah prayer. And after all, cleanliness is half of faith. Verily, it is said in the Holy Quran. Indeed, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves those who constantly repent and loves those who purify themselves. And this is mentioned in Surah Al-Baqarah. So the second thing that we should do, brothers and sisters, is clean our teeth using miswak. The Prophet ﷺ recommended using miswak to maintain proper oral hygiene. And proper oral hygiene is important not just for Jummah prayer but overall too. The third thing that we should do, brothers and sisters, is wear clean, uh, preferably new clothes. And the importance of wearing clean and presentable clothes when joining a congregation is highlighted in the Quran with the following words. O children of Adam, take your adornment, wear your clothing at every masjid. The fourth thing that we should do, brothers and sisters, is apply perfume, non-alcoholic. Wearing perfume is also a must follow a practice for Jummah, especially consider considering that the Prophet ﷺ made sure he always had a pleasant smell when he met people. However, it is best if you wear non-alcoholic perfumes to, to steer clear of the debate and confusion about alcoholic perfumes uh, can be worn during Salah or not. So the fifth thing that you should do, brothers and sisters, is cut your nails. Trimming your nails is another good hygiene practice and it is advised to cut your nails on Friday since it, it is one of the sunnahs of Jummah as well. The sixth thing that you should do, brothers and sisters, and that we all should do is recite Surah Al-Kahf. Surah Al-Kahf is also filled with various virtues in a narration from the Prophet wasallam, It is stated that one who reads Surah Al-Kahf on Fridays will find his entire week enlightened until the next Friday, subhanAllah. And that is why every Muslim should get into the habit of reciting this blessed Surah every Jummah, which is the most important day of the week in Islam. The seventh and last thing that we should do, brothers and sisters, is send durood upon the Prophet ﷺ. And when you send durood and salutations upon the Prophet ﷺ, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sends blessings upon you and indeed the rewards only increase when the deed is done on the day, on the best day of the week, which is Friday. And not to mention it draws you near to the Holy Prophet Sallallahu on the day of resurrection and it erases your sins as well, SubhanAllah. So may Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala give us all the tawfiq to act upon this and bless us all with endless happiness and guide us all to the right path. Ameen. Jazakallahu khayran wa ahsan al jaza. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Ooh. <laughs>